It's the evening of the dress rehearsal, and for the very first time, the wonderful costumes on these racks are finally taken to the stage. But just a few weeks ago, they were still being tailor-made for each dancer in the workshops of Paris's Opéra Garnier, a mix of high fashion, creation and craftsmanship. In the tailoring workshop, it's the male dancers who are all looked after. There are two things. The dancers have to be able to move freely and they must be beautiful as well. Everything is, of course, made to measure by these seamstresses who give both shape and fluidity to the many trousers, doublets and jackets. It's great. We spend an average of four days on a jacket. We put small button loops on each side. When the dancer jumps, this section can't flap up. Everything should stay in place. In the dressmaking workshop, the tutu is king. In tulle, chiffon or organza, it's the iconic skirt of classical dance. The costume designers here are all ardent fans. And as well as being experts in cutting these floaty fabrics on the bias, they hand make every single garment. When it comes to making the dancers corset, there are rules to follow. Most of the time, they are all made with a frame. On the back, we always top stitch, and there are whale bones and these fasteners. Ballet can sometimes be very physical, and the costumes have to hold together well. Every last detail is thought of here, right down to the underwear. Because these costumes fit tight to the body and are often danced in, the performers sweat a lot, so everything is washed every night. That includes all the underwear, too, that you can't see here, the strings, the knickers, the bras and brassieres. We work on all the shows. The audience can only imagine all the painstaking work that goes into putting on a ballet. I'm putting the pearls on one by one. They're specially made for the stage. By that, I mean I make a knot between each bead, so that if anything breaks during the performance, all the beads won't fall off and scatter among the dancers. It's these minute details that add to the overall effect of the show. Kept in these glass-fronted cabinets are all the finished articles, crystal, pearls and tiaras all built to withstand every lift or jump on stage. Be it a tale of princes, fairies or animals, all the magic of the ballet is stored here. The milliners, the workshop dedicated to hats. Do we need to put some more gold on as well? We find a small team busy working with felt, straw and netting. Their main goal when designing and making headwear for the ballet is that it should stay firmly sat on the dancer's head. This hat needs to be stretched out a little. In order to do that, we put it on this tool. It has to be comfortable and shouldn't be too heavy. And it shouldn't be too hot either. Generally speaking, the dancers want to give as much as they can in their performances. So we should help them do that. Hidden away behind the scenes, the opera's costume makers work wonders for the dancers. On average, two to three thousand costumes are cut out and sewn here every year. This is the second fitting. This will be the first time that I'm dancing in this role. So our sewing friends here are making me a costume specifically for me. We've cut everything here. We just need to bring it out a little bit. The costumes produced here are dazzling and amaze everyone, not least the dancers themselves. When you see the sleeves and all the work that's gone into it, it's great, but it can get caught and tear. But that's one of the risks of the job. <laughs> As long as it's flowing and elastic, we can do whatever we want in it. When Romeo finds his beloved Juliet, a miracle of light and agility occurs. Waiting in the wings is one of the ballet's many dressers who laces up and unlaces the heroine. It was always my dream to dance in Romeo and Juliet, and the costumes are part of that dream as well. Mm -hmm. 
Here at the Paris Opera, you always feel beautiful in the costume that's made for you. The costumes are almost the dancers' second skin and help them to build their onstage characters. And when the performers take a bow, they do so also on behalf of the costume designers who've helped add to the emotion, the romance and the magic of the ballet. <laughs>